Today's video is how to record vocals into Ableton Live. I'm gonna teach you all the basics, how to start recording vocals from a microphone for beginners, straight into Ableton so you can record your own songs. Let's get straight to it. Okay, step one for recording your own vocals into Ableton is having yourself a microphone. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a microphone, a pop filter, you want to have some sort of stand. I use like a mini desktop stand and also you could use just like a normal stand. They're always pretty cheap. So those are the three things that you need for your microphone. Ones I recommend would be condenser microphones because they have higher audio quality more than USB microphones. And also you need to get yourself an audio interface. An audio interface will transfer the audio from the microphone into the computer, into Ableton. It'll make it compatible for you to be able to record your vocals. So that's step one. So this is step two. So what you need to do is have your audio interface all set up, ready to go, drivers installed. Get your cable. This will be an XLR cable. And you have this type of input. And you've got relatively two different channels to choose from. So you input it into one of the channels. With a condenser microphone, you want to put on 48 volts. So that's what you do. And then you start adjusting the volume level depending on your input. While I'm testing the audio levels of the microphone, it shows up here, the levels. So when it turns red, that's when you want to push it back. So yeah, so see how it's red? You want to sort of push it back a little bit. A general guide is recording from minus three to minus six dB in terms of vocals. So you want to make sure that you're getting the right audio levels. Okay, so this is step three. In step three, you want to be inside your DAW, check your preferences, check your input, and audio output settings. Make sure that your audio interface is selected. Once you download your drivers, then it'll just be as easy as that. From there, you select your channel and you arm your track, which is that little red button there that I clicked. From there, you check your in and off options. When it's in, you can hear yourself back. When it's off, you can't hear yourself back when you're recording and when you're not recording. No, 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 no. What you do is you test your levels, so you make sure that you're yeah, yeah, you're getting some good uh, input. Yeah, you may, you want to make sure that you're what minus up, three, up. minus six dB. What up? What up? What up? What up? So that's what, what up, I'm what doing up. here. I'm just checking the what levels, up, making up, sure up, that I've got dude, a good audio there. input oh, for me to be yeah. able to work with. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What the hell is going <laughs> so on? So something really Up easy, really there. simple. And then from there, once you finish your recording, all you can do is just press spacebar to stop. And then you press the off to be able to hear back. And then you can play back the audio. It's as simple as that. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I've got plenty more on this channel for you guys to watch. And good luck with your recordings. And I hope you make some hits. Thank you so much for watching.